Dude, it is. Look. Oh my God, it is. How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. I'm in Southern Ohio. Just finished the Dale Hollow trip. The paddle and fin in Eastport Marina held down in Tennessee, and it was an absolute blast. And I can't thank everybody enough for all the supportive messages that they sent me and encouragement as I went down there and competed in my biggest kayak tournament ever. The first one in my old town since I've gotten it this past spring. But what an insane, insane trip down there. Was able to finesse a lot of fish up, fish in pressured water, but unbelievable, something I'll never forget. And I really appreciate everybody sending me those good vibes as I went down there. But today's video is going to be kind of all over the place, honestly. We uh, had some snow in Ohio this past Saturday. I went out the day after, after a cold front, and it was just horrible. But I managed an awesome smallmouth in the creek, and I came to a spillway. And manage some really interesting and awesome fish in the spillway so I'm going to kind of mash everything together make like a, a stew of sorts because they're I caught some awesome fish and also they deserve to be on the channel and deserve to be featured because fishing is kind of tough right now it's getting better the what the weather's starting to break in Ohio and we're starting to get some good springtime temperatures so stay tuned for the action and check out these fish that I caught in the spillway and in the creek let's go all right, we've been throwing the mud bug around for a while now and really not getting a lot of action. The problem is we did just come away from a cold front yesterday. It was actually like 30 some degrees snowing yesterday. So today could just be a bad day to fish. Learn out pretty quickly, but uh, we'll throw the leech on for a little bit. Throw it in some of these deeper holes where I know there's fish. I've caught them here before. I know they're hanging around somewhere. In these deeper holes and if they're just not biting today we'll have to just wrap it up but we'll give the magma leech a couple casts and see what happens oh, oh. this is like a really good fish Giant smallie, giant. Come here, buddy. I'll have to get wet. Let's go. Let's go. Freaking tank. Look at that. What a beast. Just popped out too. What a freaking tank. Oh goodness. That is why we creek fish right there. What a beast. Let's get a measurement on this creek beast before we let him go. 16 and three quarters. Almost 17. But what a fish right there on the Nico leech magma. Let's get a release on it. It's probably two and a half pounder. No problems. Kind of off the bank here, so I gotta kind of chuck him in there. Here you go, buddy. Let's go. Oh, hooked up. Jesus. What in the world is this? Holy smokes. What? Guys, I just got a giant bass, I think. think it's swimming all over the place I 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I do not know how this happened. Oh my God. Well, he's down there. I don't know if you can see him, but it's uh, close to 20 inch or probably. All right, Israel went underneath. I don't know how this fish got hooked, but man, I felt the thump. It's like on its back. I have no idea how this even happened, but Israel went down there with the net. Hopefully he lands it for me. It's walking through, I think. Get, get it, bro. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> How in the world did that happen? I have no idea. I'll come over. That is her. That's her. I think so. I guys. That's a big one, bro. Yeah. How in the heck did that happen? Dude, that water is freezing. <laughs> Thanks, Israel. Yeah. Dude, holy smokes. Here. Did we call that a catch? Jeez. Jeez. He caught his. Here, That's four all day, dude. I'll go get it. Maybe. I'll keep her down here. Give me that net and I'll leave her in it. Okay. You, Thanks. Yeah, I'll get the You got a measuring board? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Give her some recovery. All right, we're gonna get a length measurement, and Israel's got a scale too. It's got to be every bit of four, man. Yeah, four pounds, four ounces. It's a freaking toad. Let's get a measurement. Here, hold that up right there. All right, 19 incher. All right, we're gonna go get a release on the spillway beast. 19 inches. Four pounds, four ounces. Should sort of weigh nice. There she goes. Nice. Oh, up. Dang! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> With the magma again. Putting a herd on them. Alright, we got a nice chunky pound and a half bass. This release is tricky, but you gotta kind of flip them. So they go head first. Solid. Uh, you want to try a Texas rig or a spinnerbait too? No, nah, I just want to throw a crank and see what it feels like right, on here. Tie that one on over there. Hey, you know what I'm about to tie on? I end up losing my other one. Had to buy another one. But that's it right there. All right, y'all. I'm going to tie on a crankbait on this bait caster. Dude, I, I can't believe I'm doing good with this. Get him fired up so I can come around and catch him. <laughs> <I'm about to laughs> <tie. laughs> What is going on down here? <laughs> what in tarnation? Oh, no way. No. Yes, dude. I'm not joking. No, I swear to God, bro. I swear. Oh my God, bro. He hit me. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> get him. Get him up here. I got it all on camera. He's a freaking two pounder. Nice and easy. No freaking way. Israel just got this swim bait, this glide bait fish. Look at this. Bro, dude. All right, we're going to release Israel's glide first glide bait fish. All right. Nice. All right, chuck him in. Make sure he's head first. You got to kind of like toss him like that. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Oh my god, got my first crankbait fish, dude, on the bait caster. It feels big, bro. Dude, look at it. Oh, yeah. It's a soul guy. 
It's a giant saw guy. It's not. Dude, it is. Look. Oh my god, it is. Get down, get Holy down in the shit. spillway ASAP, bro. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Yeah. My first bait caster fish. Hurry, <laughs> Israel. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My first. My, dude, my first bait caster fish. My first bait caster fish. I'll be down there in A. I'll be down there in a second. Hold on. Check this out, guys. I just got my first ever bait caster fish on Israel's fishing rod. Let's see how long he is. Just under 22. My second fish of highest species of the year. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, dude. Let's get some pictures and let it go. We're gonna get a release on this tank of a saw guy. Put up a great fight. My first ever crankbait fish on Israel's rod. That's crazy. Give him a little bit of love. There he goes. Let's go! Unreal. Hooked up again. Second bait caster fish. <laughs> it's a nice largey, dude. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at that chunker. It's hard to see, but we're fishing right till the right till it gets too dark out. Nice healthy 11 incher. Second fish on a bait caster. And you know what? It's whatever. Oh my goodness. Dude. Big? Yeah. Like, Might be another. Oh my God, dude! Get in the where, spillway now. It's a giant at, saw where? guy. It's uh -uh. a gi dude. It's bigger than the last uh -uh. one. Swear to God. Oh, look at this. Look, look. Where's he at? Where's he? He's at? right here. Oh my. <laughs> get in the spillway, dude. No way. Get in the spillway, dude. I swear to God, dude. I know how they feel. Oh it's a massive one. It's bigger than the last one, oh, is there? <laughs> All right, there we go. 25 inches on the dot. We're that gonna get a release. Straight, that is straight 25. Yeah, bro. no on the freaking dot. way. Yeah, look, unbelievable. This fish is unreal. Look at that thing. Absolute megalodon. For the release. There she goes. <laughs> Let's go. They're moving up in that shallow. Hooked up. Really? Yep. My first fish. On my combo. Coming. Let's go. Double it up. Get over here, Weston. All right, we're gonna get this Bro, bass off here. Dude. Put that on this camera. On the crankbait I found at Dale hey, hold Hollow. Up. Hold up. I got. I got to get one. First too. one. First one ever. My casting gear. There you go. Weston, let yours go. Oh man, he choked it, didn't he? Yeah. They're good. They're chunky. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring it into the video. What do you all think? Do you think I should? Do you think I deserve to call that bass a catch, despite it being snagged? I felt a thump, felt the line getting tight, and I hook set it, and for some reason, it was in the back of the fish. Doesn't even make sense. I don't. I don't know what happened down there, but. Pulled it in, Israel went down there with his net. I held it in the spillway for like 10 minutes for him to get over here because he was on his way to come fish. But it was awesome. Caught a 25 inch saw guy and a 21 and three quarter inch saw guy on a crankbait on Israel's rod that he let me use. On my first bait, those are my first bait casting fish. 
So it's another reason why I wanted to put this video up on the channel is just to document. And that's what my channel is all about is documenting my experiences in Ohio. Tough or good days, they're going to go up on the channel. And I want people to learn from them. I learn from them. And it's a good way to document and just have a great experience to publish on my channel. Something I'll be able to keep and look back at forever. So I want to thank everybody for watching. If you, if you want to get some Waterland Shades, use code CRAWLER15 on their website. If you want to get some Nico leeches helgramites you can go to vance outdoors in hebron or lebanon store they both got them and they just got restocks i believe but the magma leech has been killing it for me lately and i just can't wait for the season to really get started and get kicking off the saw guy are biting the small mouth are getting there too <sighs> it's going to be a good year and i appreciate everybody following along and liking my videos engaging with me on my videos i love answering comments and i love helping people as much as i can i'm not going to be as specific on locations anymore I'm going to help people to the best of my abilities, but there's, I'm not going to do, so many people ask me for exact spots and I can't do that no more. I'm going to be, I'm going to educate the best I can and teach the best I can throughout my videos this year. But part of being successful is learning from your own mistakes and exploring yourself and finding your own spots. And I firmly believe in, I kind of take away the experience when I show someone exactly where I'm fishing. Sure, some of the spots might be noticeable, but this outro is getting long. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!